Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I made this character makeup here, here, somewhere on screen here. But first, intro! Alright, so let's get right into the video. I'm using a lot of makeup products that I have at home. I really don't have a huge selection. I use whatever I have. And I can already see people in the comments down below typing, Ah, oh, you're using this wrong! But whatever, just use whatever you have and make the best out of it. So I'm gonna use some cheap products that I have and I'm gonna hopefully get a decent result and I'm gonna explain everything I do. But please don't judge me too hard because I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not an expert, I'm very new to makeup. So let's see how this turns out. Video! So first up I put in my contact lenses. I do this first because sometimes they tear up when putting them in and that might ruin your makeup. So if you intend to use contact lenses, do them first for this very reason. So the first step of the makeup is putting on some foundation. I use a very light foundation because I have very light skin. I bought this at Primark for like 3 euros. It's probably not the best, but it was good enough for me to try out makeup and it works just fine for what I use it for. I use a makeup sponge to spread it over my face, but you can use whatever you have at home. Also, be mindful to get as close to your eyes as possible and also work on your neck so it fits the rest of your face. Okay, now that my face is wide enough to be barely distinguishable from my shirt, let's move on to the next step. In the next step, it's time to get rid of some birthmarks and zits. So I use this cover stick by Essence, which comes in a lot of different skin colors, so you can find whatever skin color you need. I also sometimes use it for contouring, for example, getting straight lines on the nose. For the next step I use a contouring kit. I actually am gonna contour in a second but first I use the lightest color in the contouring kit to give my face a more natural skin color compared to the artwork. So I cover my whole face in the lightest color and give it a little bit more orange brownish look instead of the white face that I had from the foundation. You can probably use a darker foundation to do this but this works fine for me so I'm gonna keep doing it for now. Just make sure you cover your face evenly so you don't have any brighter or darker spots. That way you get a pretty good result in the end. Also, again, don't forget to put it on your neck so you have the same color on your neck as your face. Okay, time for some actual shading. I used the medium color in the contouring kit to shade my cheekbones first of all. I do this by sucking in my cheeks and then going along the line that this creates. I also use it under my jaw and also on my temples to get closer to the artwork. Once I'm happy with the general shape, I use a bigger brush and even it out more so the transitions work better and it doesn't look so fake. I also shade under and around my eyes because Bigby has these circles under his eyes because he's tired of the crap that those fairy tale creatures are giving him all the time. And I'm trying to simulate that with the makeup. Okay, next up we're gonna get to do some detailing. I start out with the beard and I use an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette for this. It's probably the most expensive makeup product I own, it's about 50 bucks. But this palette has all the colors I could possibly need for any of my cosplay needs. It has some reds, purples, greens and blues for bruises, wounds, etc. And also grays, browns for beards and eyebrows and whatnot. So I use this for a lot of things that it's not intended to do because obviously it's eyeshadow. So when you apply this just use uh, soft brushes and get most of it out before you apply it on your face because it can get blotchy really quickly as you can see right here with the chin beard. So I actually have to take it off here again and reapply it because I put on too much. But it's pretty easy to take it off, just get some makeup remover, get it off and then reapply it. Mm -hmm. 
So as you can see I just use one brush to get most of it done then use a bigger brush to spread it out evenly and if I accidentally take too much or have a problem somewhere I just take a cotton pad and some makeup remover take it back off and go over it again. It's pretty straightforward. So because this is basically a cartoon character they have very sharp outlines for all the details like the beard. I use a finer brush and draw around the beard outlines to refine those lines and get closer to the character. And as you can see, me not being very experienced with makeup, a lot of times I just take a cotton pad, take some off again and reapply it until I'm happy with the end result. Eventually it looks like the 5 o'clock shadow I'm going for. Next up we need to shape those eyebrows because Big B has a tip on his eyebrows that is very distinctive so I just use a regular eyebrow pencil and draw on the shape and then just fill it out. This makes a whole lot of difference and immediately changes the character of my face completely. As you can imagine the first one worked out perfectly fine in just a matter of seconds and then the second one doesn't fit at all with the other one. It's impossible for me to match them so I take it off again and reapply it until I'm happy with the result. Makeup. On. Makeup. Off. On the second try it works much better and they match evenly now. At this point I'm also not quite happy with the beard so I do some more cleanup on that. I also extend my eyebrows further inward towards my nose to match the character more closely. Alright and now for the final and most annoying step of this makeup, the cell shading. This is extremely annoying because you need time, a steady hand and a lot of patience to do this and I have none of those things. Stop whining. What I do is I take an eyeliner pen and just look at the reference art and apply it as close as possible to the reference. Half of the time this does not work out cleanly so I just remove it with a cotton pad and some makeup remover and reapply it until I'm happy with it. Because this is a tedious process and just is the same step over and over again, I'm just gonna skip fast forward and hopefully present you a decent result. Thousands of tears later. Okay, this actually looks pretty good, but now there's an even more tedious part to do. Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse. I realized that his beard is actually made of a lot of small tiny lines going all over his beard. So I started out by doing a center line all the way down my face to my neck and then just kept repeating it over and over until I filled one side of the beard. After that I repeated it for the other side until I eventually covered the whole beard. This is actually very very boring so let's just fast forward and see what it looks like. Eventually. Alright beard finished. I actually also did some small touch ups. Now we open up the hair, style it a little bit and we actually look like Big B. Hooray! And there you have it. The final result turned out pretty good. So I only used a couple of products as you can see, but I work with what I have and it turned out pretty decent. So here's a couple of images of the final result in a shooting environment. Alright that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of these makeup tutorials tell me in the comments down below. Let's face it I'm not the greatest makeup artist but I think my ways are pretty good for beginners how to get into makeup because I'm not using a ton of equipment, a ton of stuff and a ton of expensive materials. So tell me in the comments down below if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more makeup like this. If you enjoyed the video you know what to do press the subscribe button, hit the like on the video and also press the bell notification button because my videos are unfortunately not very regular so this way you will get notified whenever I put out a new video. That's it for me for now and until next time, see ya! Zoom, zoom, zoom.